The allegory of the fall and redemption of man by Lucas Cronick the Younger is a vivid illustration of the key theological concepts that spawned the Reformation. In this work, Cronick uses concrete images to visualize justification by faith. The tree in the center separates the world into that of the law and that of the gospel. On the left, where the law is represented, the tree is dead and bare, signifying the effects of sin. Adam and Eve, in the upper left of the canvas, symbolize man's original transgression. But the continuity of sin is implied as we move toward the center and take in the worship of the golden calf. Notice, too, that on this side of the canvas, Christ sits in the heavens as a judge. Down left in the foreground, we see sinful man being hurried into hell by bizarre personifications of death and Satan, while Moses points a warning finger to the law by which man has been condemned. A prophet, symbol of the message of God's judgment, stands behind Moses looking on. But on the right side, under the tree's green bough, we see another prophet facing John the Baptist who points the repentant man toward the crucified Christ. At the foot of the cross, we see the risen Savior with death, a skeleton, and the devil, a dragon, under his feet. In the background is the brazen serpent, calling to mind Christ's words in John 3, 14 and 15. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Mary Magdalene, one who believed and inherited this life, stands with a lamb on the hillside. And above her can be seen in the clouds the feet of Christ, signifying both his ascension and his promise to return again to earth.